morning everyone. This is the first day of Pimai Lao, Shokti Pimai. And traditionally the first day we clean around the house, so we're doing that today. Traditionally there are three days of the Lao New Year. There's Sang Kan Buang, the last day of the old year where we clean around the houses and villages. Sang Kan Nao, the day between the old and new year where we have a day of rest and spend time with friends and family, and Sankan Kun Pimai, where we pay respect to our elders and make merit at the temple. Yeah, we got a lot of it. Some work around the bird coop, cleaning up all the residual matter from over the past 12 months. And we got about 20 bags of fertilizer out of all that. That's a lot of fertilizer. Mm -hmm. After all that work in the morning, we got together and made breakfast. So from chopping up some garlic and cilantro to getting the charcoal ready for the fire. We're making coffee at this morning. So this is the soup stock as well as some pork meatballs for flavor. And of course we've got our mukop, the crispy pork that we're frying up. There's some tasty crispy pork. So our kalpiak will be the, uh, the soup with all these condiments. Here we've got the fried garlic that we put in. These are all my favorite flavors. It's pretty tasty. We've also got the fried onion strings that will be put in. And here we've got all the finished condiments that will be used for the soup. Again, these are all my favorite flavors. Pretty tasty stuff. Dapiak is one of my favorite dishes. And wow, that's some pretty good stuff. Here's the finished product. And of course, I added some pique de mine or some red chili sauce and some peppers. So that's our hearty breakfast for the morning at the hard day's work. On the second day of PMI, we ventured out into downtown Vientiane, and the streets were pretty quiet. You could tell everyone was gearing up for the festivities later in the evening. There's the Beer Lao concert area. So that was pretty interesting, and people on the roadway were already starting to get into the water festival, having fun, throwing water on each other, which is part of part of the Himai Lao. So that was fun to see, even out in the villages, you can see everyone taking part. Of course, we were staying away from the crowds, and we opted to stop and get some sugar cane juice, or nam oi and go back and have our own water festival with our grandnephew, Chiki Pot and our niece, Phoebe, so we had a good time. The second day of Kimai is the day of rest, where we spend time with friends and family, and so we went to a cafe not far from our farm. This is called the 23-kilometer farm cafe. It's a nice place to take a break. So we took the whole family out, and you know, it was nice just to take a break from the day-to-day -day activities on the farm. This is a nice place. You can tell the owners put a lot of effort and work into it. A lot of nature and scenic spots. A lot of places to walk around. So, yeah, nice, nice place. So we sat down for lunch. Enjoyed each other's company. Enjoyed the air condition, which is really nice. This was some Kalpia cow, some rice porridge with pork. That was pretty tasty, along with a cappuccino and tea to wash it down and some pad thai goon, so it's shrimp with pad thai. This was another tasty dish, along with some kapow, pai gao, some pork with basil and fried egg, and of course an avocado smoothie to wash it all down. We had a great lunch, enjoyed each other's company, and took a nice rest. And then after lunch, we went out to the shrine, which was on site at the cafe, bathe the Buddhas and scented water. It's believed that water is used to wash the Buddha statue. It's blessed and therefore people collect water to pour on the family members and relatives. And water represents purification and good fortune. 
And finally, on the third day of Puma, is the day where we pay respect to our elders and go to the temple to make merit. This was interesting, my first experience doing this. So we had brought different scents of materials, flowers, and what have you from the farm that combine that with the water at the temple, and then use that to bathe or cleanse the different Buddha statues. We also gave donations and received blessings from the Buddhist monks, so that was pretty interesting. Even Chitipat, our grand nephew, uh, took part in the ceremony and received his own blessing from the monk. There were all sorts of ceremonies that we took part in during the day at the various temples to receive blessings for health and prosperity for the new year. And the most fun part was when we all gave each other water blessings to kick off the new year. So to me, this was the most important day of the three days for Pima Lao, where we get together as a family, make merit, and wish each other blessings for health and prosperity for the new coming year. So I realized just how spiritual and important this time of the year is for the people of Lao and all across Southeast Asia that celebrate this. So for those watching out there, I want to wish you Sokti Pimai good luck and have a healthy and prosperous new year. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.